What's up modern artists? Today we're going to create an abstract vector pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So opening up Illustrator, let's create a new file. I'm just going to name this abstract. The width and the height, I'm going to choose a thousand pixels. You can change the pixels or units here. And for the color mode, I'll choose RGB. Okay. Now that we have uh, the artboard open, I'm just going to take away this white fill. I'm just going to click on it and click none. And then for the black stroke, I want to change it to kind of a crazy color. So let's change it to the CMYK magenta. This is a color we're going to change later, so it doesn't matter. Just one that's going to be unique. And uh, now I'm just creating uh, just a box over the artboard. So using the rectangle tool, we're just going to click and drag. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm going to bump up the weight just a little just so I can see it. But yeah, I mean, we don't have to align it or anything. We just want something vaguely on the edge like this. Okay, and now uh, the first thing that I want to do is just create some free-flowing forms with my pencil. So using the pencil tool, I'm going to double-click just so I can get these options, and you can see them as well. Um, for the fidelity, I'm going to keep 2.5 pixels. For the smoothness, I'm going to keep 40. Uh, for all these options, I'm going to unselect. So I don't want any of these selected. We don't want to fill any pencil strokes. We don't want to keep them selected. And we don't want to edit selected paths. So, um, yeah. So just use these settings. Or, if, you know, these, these, this is what I'm going to use to make it easier. And now I just want to create just, yeah, some free-flowing loose lines. You can kind of uh, get creative, you know. This is a, supposed to be a pattern that is unique to you. So yeah, whatever you would like to see, do that. Um, I'm going to try to not intersect. I'm going to turn this uh, stroke weight down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to try to keep these uh, as loose as possible. There are some problem areas like here. I'm going to hit minus on my keyboard with the delete anchor point tool. And then I'm going to hit uh, Shift C to get the Convert Anchor Point tool. And I'm just going to click and round this out. Just like that. So, yeah, if you have any problem areas, this may be another one up here. You can do that as well. I'm just going to hit Minus, Convert. Then we're just going to pull it like that. that looks pretty good. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, just geometric shapes in there. So I'm just going to go to the ellipse tool. You can hit L on your keyboard. I'm just going to draw some circles. You can draw ovals or whatever you like. Again, uh, make it unique to you and the shapes that you want to see. I'm just going to draw just some perfect circles here and there. Maybe one last big one, just dead center. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to the polygon tool. I want a triangle. If you see more angles like this, what you can do is just hit down. Uh, you just hit the down arrow and it will take away points. But yeah, I'm just going to pull yeah, the triangle like this. Hold the space bar to move it around. And I kind of like to, yeah, right here. Just going to put some triangles just here and there. Not too many. I want one more actually. Put one more here. That looks pretty good. And yeah, just whenever you're happy with the general line work in your uh, in your pattern shape, we're just gonna highlight everything, just like that. And we're gonna go over here to the Shape Builder tool. It's Shift M on your keyboard, but just with everything still highlighted, click this tool. And now when you hover over the shapes, you, you should see something like this. Uh, you can use the arrow keys to toggle through. Uh, it's just going through your swatches panel here. I'm going to just start with red. And I'm just going to try to fill in random parts with red. Um, I'm trying to not have any red touching, so I wouldn't want to fill in here. I'm going to try to keep uh, yeah, just the uh, the colors just separated from each other. They can be pretty close like that, but I'd rather them not overlap. So I'm going to use a bit more red. I'm going to start kind of heavy. I think that looks nice. Maybe one more here. 
And now I'm just going to click over here to yellow, or you can just use the arrow key. And I'm going to do the same thing with yellow, just trying to not um, have any yellow touching each other. And I'm going to do this little sliver right here. And yeah, just like this, just um, yeah, however much yellow you want to use. Just going to keep doing that. Now I'm going to switch to green. You can use whatever color you like. Uh, you can kind of see the process that I'm doing at this point. Um, so yeah, get, get kind of funky with your patterns. I'm just using mostly uh, prime colors, uh, trying to do like a, a real Miro type thing. This looks pretty good. Do it here. I'm going to go to blue. I'm going to try to put as much blue in this as I can. Just anywhere that I see that it's not touching. I'm going to I think I'm going to go for it. Ooh, definitely getting this little sliver here. Not be touching it too much. Um I'm going to leave that one open. Yeah, let's get it in there. That looks cool. One more here. Now I'm going to go to this orange. And at this point, we're just kind of hitting anything that's left. Uh, there's not too much uh, science going on at this point. I'm going to put uh, just some purple in too. Just anywhere that's left. A lot of these little spaces here. I'm going to have to zoom in for. Go back to the shape builder. And yeah, for this one, I guess I'll put in green. I don't see a green there. And here as well. And I think that's it. We're just going to click off of it now. Looks pretty cool. I do want this uh, pink stroke away. So I'm just going to highlight everything, and everything should have this pink stroke. Now we can just click none to get rid of it. And I think that looks really nice, actually. Um, that's, that's pretty sick. Um, can use that for a lot of different things. Um, definitely just cool for a fill. Um, but yeah, say I wanted uh, to like get you know a little bit harsher lines in there to show the pattern a little bit more. I can't always just go back in, turn the stroke on. Uh, that's like a really cool, really cool vector effect. Effect and yeah, I can play with the profile of those lines, make it a bit more abstract, a bit more loose. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. You can now just group this if you'd like, and pull it into your swatches. I'm going to delete it for now. And yeah, I'm just pulling a circle and going to click on my pattern. I'm going to hold the, going to options, I see this little sliver up here. I'm going to hold the tilde key. It's the key beside the one on your keyboard. And yeah, I'm just going to drag up the pattern up a little bit like that. And yeah, now you see you have this like um, pattern that you can, you know, use for whatever you'd like. Um, yeah, just a kind of a fun way to get loose in Illustrator and uh, yeah, create some cool stuff. So yeah, hope you uh, hope you like this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.